Bhagavad Gita, verse 4.36 Even if you are the most sinful of sinners, you will be able to completely cross over the ocean of all sins by taking shelter of this boat of transcendental knowledge. Sar Ardhavarshini Now, by speaking this verse, beginning with Apichet, Sri Bhagavan describes the glories of transcendental knowledge. The word Papibhyaha indicates, even if you are the worst of sinners, this Tatvagyan will liberate you from all past sins. Here a question arises. How is it possible that the mind will become purified when so many sins exist in it? And if the mind is not pure, how will transcendental knowledge, jnana, manifest? There is no possibility that a person in whom transcendental knowledge has appeared will misbehave or commit any sin. Here, Sripad Madhusudan Saraswati explains, the words apichet are spoken to indicate the possibility of the impossible by going against the rule. Although it is not possible, it has been spoken of as a promise in order to explain the fruit or glory of jnana. In other words, the impossible has also been mentioned as a possibility.